Greetings everyone and welcome back to the Great War Redux mod in which we're playing as a Tsar of Bulgaria. Last time we puppeted the Romanians, we puppeted the Greeks, and we have just basically conducted a complete encirclement of a good chunk of the Serbian military. So right now we've got to get more guns, we've got to kill off the rest of those Serbs, and a couple of comments to go through. We've got a couple of armored cars too. Someone says we should probably take the Crimea maybe eventually, maybe later on, if just to have a little port. Eh, maybe, we'll see what happens. Someone also said in the comments that we should help out the Ottomans once we're done with the Serbs. We probably will. We should probably help out the Greeks as well, seeing as, uh, well, I have a little bit of issues down here. That's alright. I'll pu push these guys back. That's probably the best choice of action for now. And Bulgarian lives matter. Someone else said that. Or Bulgaria lives matter. Okay, then. And someone also recommended we should play as a Brazil. In this mod, the Great Order, the Great War Redux mod, I didn't realize that they actually did have a unique focus tree. So yeah, maybe we'll see what happens. Give it some time, and we will. So, but first we must conduct business against these folks. Wow, you don't have a lot of guys, do you? Uh, you can help out here, I suppose, if you really wanted to. But honestly, there's really no point to attack for now. Select all. Just hold, guys. Please hold. You, you guys are holding. You guys are hanging out, because these were guys on the Russian front, so. Let them starve, let them just kind of get all flustered and such. These guys down here I'm fine with. I I'm not committing these soldiers anywhere else, because we got to make sure that we get enough guns for now. Get enough guns, artillery, motorized, support equipment, and it helps if you don't attack anymore. So, let's give it some time. It's only September 23rd, 1917. Now, the front might collapse later on, um, just because, well... It's unhistorical, but I mean, with Russia knocked out of the war, Serbia almost dealt with, and the, we this great powers, great powers, central powers, did not have to deal with the Romanians. It's not too bad, not too bad. So <clears throat> now the Allies won't really be able to invade once they get down there. Negotiations, Brest-Litovsk troubles again in Russia. Very good, and Poland does exist too. So, and the Germans, I mean, they got a lot of green. The French are not looking good. We might potentially see a German breakthrough in the French lands. Maybe, maybe not. And also, I do have a cup of coffee here to keep us nice and chilled. Ice cold coffee, not hot coffee. I usually drink hot coffee. But this stuff is icy and chilly. Bismarck again. All the way in truck or truck. China has fallen apart. So be it. Whatever. Um. So yeah, that's pretty much where we're at right now. You know what we could do though? Uh, I mean, there's really not much we can do here. I'm just like giving it time. We're early on off in the video. Hmm. I could always just like cut out part of this and just kind of move on to the next part because it, I'm just I'm just literally just waiting for time. That's literally all I'm doing. Just sitting here waiting. Okay, so you guys are done. Even attacking there's not a good idea. So let's, let's go and hold. These guys are suffering from nutrition anyways, barely. Barely any nutrition, but that's alright. And let them attack us. I'm not too worried about them. Maybe we won't. Maybe we won't do that. Okay, Austria Humphrey, please don't kill your own men off. It's not a very good idea. You guys are looking very handsome, very dashing. Actually, we got... Wait. A little bit of lag? Uh-oh, what's going on? Is it Russia again? China already fell apart. Hopefully it's not the Ottomans falling apart. That wouldn't be very good for us. Or really good for anybody, really. I could commit our soldiers that are just kind of over there on the right side, next to Adrianople and Varna, to do something. But what's happened? What's happening? Uh, did anything happen? Oh, you guys are here as well. Central Asian states. Anyone else? Oh wow, that is disgusting. Oh god, and the Americans are up there too. Yeah, that looks pretty bad, but that's all right. As long as we have to get involved. Yeah, there goes Red Finland. Goodbye, Red Finland. Goodbye. Does Finland have a unique focus tree in this one? They might not. They might. They might not. Oh, Mannerheim is here. No, it looks pretty generic to me. Hey, look at all that political power, though. All right, refuse to surrender. Pretty much, Germany surrenders. Oh, we leave the central powers. Leave the central powers. Kind of do our own thing. Hold out against the world. And these guys are slowly starving, which is great. Because then here we're gonna probably attack this tile, maybe. There's really nowhere good to attack. We're just gonna have to brute force it. It looks like. And by brute force it, I mean wait until 1918. So this way we can get, maybe make some early heavy tanks, maybe? Yeah, yeah. Uh, ooh, advanced 
spe advanced special operations. It's only October. It's almost November. I'm going to go ahead and grab this. Oh, we're, already, we're grabbing that. Anti-air defense, huh? Get some more construction. We're going to need that. I don't care if it's ahead of time. I really don't. The only thing we're doing here is guns, so that's not too bad. At this point, I think all you guys are probably able to do this. You should be able to do that. You guys aren't super strong, but we should do okay. Yeah. That's nice. Oh, God, no. That's not good. Um, Give me, like, five of you guys. Come over here for now. You don't defend. It's only five divisions. Let's see. You guys are 14 combat width. Yeah, you're all 14 combat width. That's fine. Whatever. And, of course, these guys are... They say they're really good, but they're only 20 combat width, so... Whatever. You need 15,000 guns. Does anyone have any spare guns? Anybody? Oh, what's going on here? Oh, and the Sickleman. Nice job, guys. Italy. Ooh, what is going on here? Italy's not looking super strong. Oh, the Germans are definitely trying stuff. Excavation 3. Not bad. Not bad. We could get some more oil, but we don't really need to do that. Get some more excavation. Even more extraction. As much as possible. The Germans have pushed down even further. Wow, that is... That is impressive. I mean, they're probably lacking guns now, too, but... Oh, we got that area. Chaos research. Doesn't even matter what we do. Let's see. Flying Academy. Sounds great to me. You could help out, but really, there's really no point to. I don't want to lose too many soldiers. And Actually, there's probably too many soldiers actually up here. Just go and finish these guys off them. That's good. This is 1917. What? Okay, this is not really correct. It says 1917, but it's over 500 years... 500 days away. How much armor do you guys have? Five or... We gotta go 15. I don't care what it says. You gotta have more armor. Wait. Um, heavy early tanks. That's not bad. Those are heavy tanks, though. We need light tank equipment. We need heavy tank equipment, right? A little bit of more lag. Oh, man. Must be more, be more so for the Treaty of Brest Litovsk. Let's see. It is heavy tech equipment, so. And we're gonna need some more motorized for this. Just have enough organization. That's 18 combat width. There we go. And. We will give you support artillery. And. Recon armored cars. You need. Actually, we should have already have all the armored cars we need for that. Uh, actually, hold on. If I remove that, 3.4. If we do this one, it's 3.2. 0.3 more. Actually, this gives you more defense. Even though that other one gives you more recon. Get the artillery, that'd be good. It won't even matter. You know what? We'll do that one and engineers, probably. Alright. One more breakthrough, one more soft tech. Actually, no, don't even use that, maybe. No, it does help you with your terrain stuff. So that'll be good. Go and throw that on there. Good. What does the Romania want? Give me th some more support equipment. I will gladly accept more support equipment, guys. Alright, so we're not probably going to be able to make this up for a while. Tank-wise, we are actually not doing too bad on tanks. And the Austrians have done a very good job up here. Very, very good job. Oh, hello. Wait, are you... These guys are encircled. Alright, not bad. Good job, guys. Good job. Another Italian division go bye-bye. And it looks like the Austrians took those guys out. Nice job. Nice job, Austrian dudes. Alright. That's a probably a bad idea. I gotta break over the river, though. Get to where you need to be. And we'll deal with whatever we need to do deal with. What do we have over here? War bonds. We need more war bonds. But I need to raise up my... War support as well. But we gotta do war bonds. I need more construction. We need more construction. Uh, yeah, that's a core, so we must keep doing that. And then... Do both. Two, two at a time. Just because, this way we can at least get one more civilian factory eventually. So we can trade it away for more stuff, which will be important. So. It is what it is. But that should save the Austrians quite a bit more infantry so they can put them somewhere else. Yeah, the Italians and Americans still attacking. The Germans are doing... Not bad at all. Like, I wish they'd stop attacking Belgium, but against the French, they're doing... Um... Are you naval invading? Wow, look at those guys. I'd hate to be in Russia right now. Even then, the Ottoman Empire isn't looking that good. That's alright, though. Can you guys actually win? 
That'd be kind of impressive if you could. Oh wow, you guys are lacking a lot of stuff, eh? You guys are not looking good. <laughs> We're out of so much stuff. Eastern Micronesia is getting attacked. Well, to be honest, I don't really care. <laughs> don't really care. Now, if we were to try to attack here, could we win? It's 3v1, we're fighting over river, not good. Our guys are 20 combo, but they actually have planes. We saw that for a second there, they did have some plane stuff. And they still have some pl scout planes, scout planes. But that's not going to help them very much. If we can break over the river, that is going to be very, very important, at least to, that the Austrians be able to do stuff. So, Flying Academy would be very nice. It's almost 1918, we're so close. Georgia is gone. Sweet, sweet Georgia. Goodbye. Actually, what are the casualties like? 3.83, that's not bad. 5 million for the Entente, that's pretty bad. Of course, France lost roughly half of that. The UK has lost quite a bit. Italy's lost quite a bit. Japan hasn't actually lost that much. America's lost 84,000, huh? We've only lost 25,000, so... Really not that bad. Serbia? Not enough. That's all I can say. Just, just not enough. 81? Well, let's not force the attack yet. It's it's a slow grind. Happy 1918, though. Fired a civilian factory. A large fire broke out at one of our industrial complexes. Huge part of the production buildings were completely destroyed. Restoring production will take a long, long time. It's necessary to draw conclusions. Oh, that sucks. That's all right, though. Things happen, I suppose. You know. Usually that doesn't happen on purpose, but hey, you never know. Now we could try to win here. We're already minus. Actually, our guns are looking actually better. Three, four a day is not bad. Give it one more day and we'll be, able, be below 14,000 maybe? Oh, we're close. We're close. Armored cars looking really good though. Actually, garrisons. Can I replace you with just one armored car maybe? 60? No, I don't think we'll have enough. How many places do we have to put down? I'm considering lowering this. Lower my conscription level, but we'll see what happens. Uh, that's actually really good. Really, really good. Team of Serbia, hopefully we're still getting more compliance every day. Inflow, oh crap. Oh no, H1 ends one. Please don't bring it to Bulgaria, please, 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 please. Korean exports. Nope, national spirits didn't change. Balkan Prussia, Hungarian economy. Alright, Arabia is getting navally invaded again, but what else is new? Not much. How are the Germans doing on the front? They are breaking through. They went past, they got for done. Holy crud. Airship research, I don't like the airships too much. Black Sea Presence, I don't, don't like airships just because whenever I use them in Old World Blues, they're not very good. So, just saying. All right, very good. Hey, we broke over, good job guys. Great job. Now let the Austrians help defend the border for now. And if we can't, I might try to get down here and cut off the rest of Belgrade from everyone else. Actually, if Austria-Hungary would attack now, we could probably take this tile and destroy these four divisions. But the AI isn't that smart. Welcome even better on guns. Love it. Oh, you guys actually broke down here too. Oh, if you could actually get this tile. That would be the most important thing that we could do. Oh, that sucks. You can't even get that. That's alright. Uh, you might be able to get this though. You actually might be able to get this. That would give us much more leverage to attack Kalamata. Kalamata? Kalamata? I don't know. Yeah, don't worry about attacking them. Almighty Don Host has capitulated. Well, they're not so mighty all anymore, are they? 1918. I mean, I guess we have the 100 Days Offensive here. This It's January, so I don't think this is part of it, but we'll see what happens. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we actually... Attacking over there might not be too bad. Alright, so I'm going to have all of you guys come up here. We're going to put down the Serbs once and for all. You guys, come here. We're going to strike right there and destroy those four divisions, saving at least 10 divisions to spare for another part of the front. Not bad. I'm kind of tempted to help out the German line because we're looking a little weak, obviously, but that's, that's fine. Anti air. More max factories in a state. That'd be super, 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 super important. Update equipment in production. Wait, didn't they already capitulate? Are we below? Nice. Kolchak becomes supreme ruler of Russia. Fighters not looking too bad. Uh, guys, I would not recommend attacking there. So soon, and give it about like five seconds. Please don't take too much supply up, guys. Five, four, three, go. You guys are already losing stuff to attrition. Um, hmm. 
Should we use Breastlet Tusk? There we go. Nice. Now they don't have to worry about this side at all. Oh, and the Ukraine's in here with us too? Nice. And then the United Baltic Duchy. Lithuania. Ukrainian Hetmanat. Wow. Skordopatsky. Influence of Pandemic. The Germans looking pretty good. The French. They're on... Well, service bar. Extensive conscription. Germans. Million manpower. Same thing. Not bad. Come on, horsey boys. You've got this. Force it. Oh, God. Nope. I don't like that. I don't like this. If you like to read about this, go right ahead. I don't like it. I don't like it. That hurts us quite a bit. Where are the decisions to do such things to, about the virus? Hey, an encirclement. Nice. Mm, they didn't like that, did they? Nope. No, they did not. Oh, uh, still a little better. No, it's about the same, maybe. They leave. We can attack here, too. So I'm planning on doing that. If you really want to help out, you can. If you really want to help out, you can. If you really want to help out, well, get out of there first, actually. Supplies are just really, really bad. Come down here. There you go. Well, we didn't get any decisions of, to dismantle or fight the pandemic. But it'll be gone in two years. That's not too bad. Supply consumption. Oh, yeah, that definitely hurts supply consumption. That's so bad. Good. Get rid of these guys. No be sad, huh? Get rid of them. Arabia's getting invaded. So be it. Whatever. Wow. I hate to be down here. Must be so hot. Oh, the British actually invaded, huh? My goodness. Allied attacks are just crazy. So you guys should be over here. You're hanging out, having a good time. Uh, wait, why are you attacking? You're cavalry. You're acting like a bunch of dum dums. God, I hate this attrition so badly. Could you guys actually do that? Maybe. You might still be able to win there. <sighs> Honestly, at this point, like, why is if we're gonna get afflicted by it? Why don't they? Why are they not afflicted by it? I guess we might have resistance over here, but it's not that bad, really. Don't do that too. Let's see, supply. Local infrastructure. 25% of previous infrastructure. Bottleneck. And we're doing pretty well with supplies, but still. Oh god, they reinforced this area. Well, we can try and attack. It's probably not gonna go that well right here. We need to get over here though. Because supply is so bad right now. Resistance suppression. Yeah, I don't think so. No, it's not dropping yet. It's good. Come on, Serbia. You wanted to go to the war, so... No, we might still be able to win. Oh, they threw another division in there, which sucks. Which really, really sucks. Which I'll throw more divisions in, too. You can play this game, Serbia. And... Deploy a few planes. Oh, they're really trying to attack us down there, huh? Construction 4. Yes, please, we'll take on some more of that. Let's grab some more of a cap. That would be good. If they got... If all they got is scout planes... Wait, how do they get all, this, all these enemy planes? Holy crap. Black Sea stuff. Construction engineering. Resistance suppression. That'd be nice and all, but we don't really need that. Destroy research. Might as well. Cool. Another division. Excavation 4. Cut down on some other stuff so we don't need that. And... Anti-air is not bad, but I don't really need that right now. Uh, more piercing, maybe? That'd be kind of nice. Well, we got the number back up to almost 80. That's pretty good. Come on, Yvonne. You know, at this point, we can't deal with this attrition. Um, I would like to send you guys over here, but even they are suffering from extreme attrition. Can you guys actually come over here and help out too, maybe? Go and battle the line, maybe they'll attack other someone else. 
Nothing over here. Let's go ahead and grab more field hospitals. Yeah, that'd be good. You guys are just hanging out here. If you spread yourselves out a little bit more, that might be better, actually. Hold and hold. Well, come on, Serbia. You're the one who wanted to take all those lands back, and you beat me later, so... Cool. Hopefully we don't suffer any attrition here. Just want to help hold out. Oh, Trieste. Don't lose Trieste, guys. That's not good. Yeah, the French are not looking good. They are just straight up not looking good at all. Yeah, there's just too much attrition. We might need some logistic companies, too. That would definitely help out. Coffee's pretty good. We've lost 20,000. Could be worse. Oof. It is April 21st. By November 11th, that's not good for us. Now, I don't know historically. How much did the influence afflict the militaries of the Entente and Central Powers in World War One? I? I can't imagine that it did an extreme amount. I thought that the H1N1 virus actually did more after the war. It actually killed more people the virus did worldwide than the actual Great War itself, if I remember correctly. So... I'm not sure, how, like, how much is this going to affect us. I mean, obviously, it is affecting us quite a bit. And for some reason, it's glitched where we can't, like, try to get rid of the disease, but, hey. Not much we can really do. No matter where I put the soldiers, though, they constantly have supply problems. I think that's a bit too much. 35% more supply issues? I think that's just a bit too much. That's, an, that's extreme. That is an extreme amount. Even if I leave them at home... That's still going to be too much. Austria, please don't attack. Yes, we should gladly accept more support equipment. Yeah. And so if we get afflicted, then why don't they? It doesn't make any sense. If we can attack, that'd be great. We'll see what happens. Can we get a logistics wizard, please? Six. Until the cavalry to force it. Mm -hmm. We're gonna need an airbase a little closer. There we go. That's gonna be a little better. We can actually do stuff here then. Nice. Let me start working on some of our air doctrine too. Air supports. Sure. Flying formation. God, we're doing a great job, including with the infantry, so that's good, 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 good. So I put you guys over here. And you guys don't get resistance or attrition, which really sucks. Like, like. Over here, 35% is a bit extreme. It's a bit extreme. Alright, so you guys. No, you, these guys got to be put down. I kind of like the old modifier where, like I said yes, yesterday, like the exhaustion modifier. Like, if you have too much exhaustion during the war like you all have a revolt wow the French Navy is not looking good now is it German Navy well they got some battleships but so did the French I'm kind of surprised that the French Navy is so bad wow getting invaded in uh, Western Balkans of course I right, guess get out of there Yeah, I don't understand. Like, attrition-wise, like, supply consumption, why is it going down? I mean, it's not like the disease is killing guns, is it? The Battle of the Somme, Lord help us. Uh... Oh, look at this. They actually did some. They actually did it. Nice. Good job, guys. Good job. Destroy research. Varna port. Might as well, right? Two more dockyards. We don't really need them, but sure, why not? Cancel only, so be it. I mean, not bad. At this point, it's, it's just pretty much a stalemate. There's nothing they could do to really break it. We're trying to, there's a lot of mines in around Belgium, but whatever. 
it must kind of suck being someone on the front lines. How many men have the Americans lost, actually? 170,000? Well, you get what you get, America. Alright, just gonna hang out there. Seven supply. Seven out of ten. And yet we're still suffering infrastructure. Local infrastructure is 43 out of 43.02. Part of the problem. Actually, if you see our requirements for supply, it's not us. We're actually doing quite well on supply. It's our allies. Austria. And also I have my cup of ice here too, so. If Austria wasn't here, we could more easily be able to do this. But no, 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 Austria. Hey, we got a first tank division. Nice. Very nice. Now, if we put them anywhere on the line, it's going to be very, 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 very bad. I would love to put these guys over here. But the supply is just so not good. Even up here, it's really, really bad. So, I'm not, I don't think we can really do anything with them. Don't tell me we don't have enough guns. Don't tell me that. What if we tried this? I would need that. Garrisons. Are we out of armored cars now? No, we're not, actually. That barely did anything. Three fifty becomes what? Two something? It becomes three okay then. I don't want to replace all these guys since it's gonna we we'll have more land to take later on anyway, so. That should help out with guns, maybe just ever so slightly. Not very much, but ever so slightly. Uh, you know, I don't understand this part now. Why are they suffering no attrition? This is not... You can claim and try to core this all you want, but this is not core Italian land. Like, <laughs> seriously? That makes no sense. Cool, but since we're here, you know what? I'm just going to play this a little bit more off screen and see what happens very soon. All right, everyone, and we're back. It is now September 1920. It's been about maybe more than two years since the fade in, fade out. But this is the world. Obviously, not much is going on. If you take a look, I mean, the Germans pushing a little bit, but the French are like, no. Uh, here are the casualties. The Allies, Entente, has been a little crazy. And Ireland became free. They joined the Central Powers, and then they were taken over. Go figure. Uh, yeah, the Entente's been killing a lot of people. We haven't lost that many people. Honestly, I've just kind of been sitting here. Waiting for things to get a little better. We've got plenty of armored cars. We have a few extra guns. Uh, Serbia is now looking, well, only like Belgrade. Of course, Montenegro still exists down here, but... I don't think I'll really be able to take these guys out too well, so we'll see what happens. I just don't think I can get down here in time. Um, we're just going to force the attack to see what we can try to do. There's really not much else. As you can tell by the title, this is the final episode. At this point, I mean, it's just a slaughter fest. I mean, nothing's really changing. Uh, also, we were able to make two, not one, but two tank divisions, and we have no supply issues. Ooh, down here might not be really good, though. Pop these guys out. So, I mean, Germany is slowly maybe losing it on the line, but other than that, not really much has happened. It's been so long that we also got rid of the influenza pandemic stuff, so, yeah, go figure. Go figure. Come on, guys. I know the Americans are here, and the Montenegros are here, but my goodness... Six to ten thousand manpower, three to ten divisions. Yeah, it is what it is. As long as we can get Belgrade, that'd be kind of nice, you know. Even though we might not be able to get it, so regardless, you're gonna force the attack until they die. I don't know how they got thirteen divisions in here. I know they got two divisions, but thirteen. Yeah, I'm not really sure. Don't really understand how that they did that, but you know, whatever. It is what it is. Until I'm just over here, nothing's really changed. I mean, honestly, very little has changed. So. It is what it is. Russia is still a mess. They're still fighting the, the Civil War. Middle East is looking pretty much the same. It's looking a little, little messy. China's trying to unify. Uh, Africa slowly being overturned to go, join the Entente, but... After playing this for two years off-screen, there's really not much going on here, so... But at the very least... Oh, we can do this as well. Increase mobilization speed, I guess. Increase more uh, non-aligned. I have like done Institute press censorship, so we got a little bit more of that. But yeah, not much really has really happened, like I said. Um, yeah. Th this is why I kind of like playing, only like playing really major powers in this mod. Oh, we killed off a division here, too. 
just because if you're a major power you have a lot more control over how the war is dictated because you have the resources that you need as a minor power here a secondary power I mean, it's not bad but you just don't have enough strength really enough push power to really do what you need to do to ensure that you win especially early on because now we have 57 factories we I'm just building up infrastructure at this point uh, we probably have a few more slots here, not that many. Central Macedonia, that's pretty much it. We got combat unit destruction. I'm trying to make more, a few more planes, but it's not, you know, going that great. So, it is what it is. We have a few planes in the air, like I said. We've got ace. Oh, we actually have positive air. Wow, look at that. And we have ace two. Nice. Not bad. That's actually better than what I saw before. Hey, we just got off like six divisions, so keep attacking, guys. You're doing a great job. At least let us get Belgrade. At this point, it's just going to be a slaughter fest. I mean, look at these guys. I just have my army here because attrition was so bad across the front that, like, you know what? Let's just not, like, sacrifice our soldiers. It doesn't make any sense to do that. You guys might be able to attack here and actually win. Um, yeah. Tanks are cool. Infantry equipment 3 is cool. Yeah, if I play the Great War again, we might do Brazil, but I'm, I'm leaning towards more just major powers. Definitely major powers because they've got the gumption and good ability to do so. I've obviously not done anything for ships and such like that, so yeah, it is what it is. Early heavy tanks. Need a little bit more steel, eh? Can't really afford it, or no one's going to give me eight out of what I really need. And yeah, the Germans are slowly losing. Hey, we got the Serbs! But that's what I really wanted to do in this uh, campaign, I suppose. Get rid of the Serbs. Because of what they did to us earlier on. Because I can't break through these lines because Montenegro is just too strong with the Americans here as well. <sighs> the Montenegro, Montenegrin people, led by Nicola. But 49 divisions, a little bit of manpower, cancel on lease. Oh, also, and we were building up more soldiers, but I just using them as, like, garrison soldiers, so... They've just kind of been literally hanging out, having a good time. But we can't really break through the lines, and this is just going to keep happening more and more and more. They've lost a level 11 million, we've lost 3 million. I think this mod might eventually could use a ex war exhaustion mechanic, maybe, like the other Great War mod. But regardless, I've said that before. Oh, the oh they've lost a lot. But regardless... They lost a level of a million. I hope you enjoyed this campaign. I think we're just going to end it here. If you did, consider leaving a like. Subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link in the description below. And I'll see you tomorrow in another campaign. Thanks for watching. Have a great Bulgarian rest of your day.